Hello friends, Big Stupid Green here, back with some more Arkham Horror card game. Jenny Barnes solo experience through the Dunwich Legacy. Um, before I started the scenario, I just wanted to let you know that I'm going to be playing around with adding music to this. Uh, tabletop Simulator doesn't have any music while we're playing, so this kind of game needs some ambiance. So I'm actually going to break down and get it in editing software and add some uh, free music to it. So let me know if you like it. Let me know if you like certain songs over another one uh, over others. How many I should add? Should I loop songs? All that sort of thing. Anyway, let's go ahead and look at the deck first, the changes that I made in it. Um, we are taking out the I'm out of here for a hot streak. Figured I needed gas, so in Jenny's case, that's resources. Um, and then we're using the newer version. The older version was two more pips and costed two less, so it was net seven resources instead of net five. Um, and then we're switching out perception for guts. We need uh, we need guts more than perception at this point in the game. So, of course, that's with adaptable. If you're wondering why I'm just switching out uh, random level zero cards, um, let's go ahead and look at our scenario again. I'm going to do this without reading the lore. I think my next playthrough, I am going to read through the lore again, figuring out what people like, what I like to do, that sort of thing. Um, so. You can always let me know if you want me to read the lore or not. Um, but we're heading into the village of Dunwich to investigate and find answers. So we ticked off um, Naomi's crew. So she's going to be added to our encounter deck. We have a list of potential sacrifices. Uh, we got four. Um, we have uh, we saved uh, Rice. So he's not in there. He's actually in our deck. And then these guys are going to go over here. And then we need to figure out which locations we're using, um, which is why we have the die here. But anyway, each location has two different versions, except for the village commons. Um, so I'm just going to shuffle and take some of these away, or one of these away from every location. And then after that, we're going to roll the die, and one of these uh, six locations are going to leave play. So, oh, I should say, um, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm doing this as a book, so from left to right, up to down. So five would be the burn rune. So that is completely gone. Um, so we can ignore some of these location markers. Um, and then we need to shuffle this up. And each of these cards um, gets an encounter deck card and or um, one of the two MacGuffins we need here. Key to the chamber and the hidden chamber. So we need to get the key and then head to the chamber. Um, so then we need just three encounter cards. Um, making sure I shuffle a bunch of times. So three. And then add these two. They look like encounter cards too. The rest of these cards will just move up here to form the encounter deck. And then shuffle all of those, and these go underneath the locations. Like so. And that's the end of setup. So we'll go ahead and shuffle up, draw our opening hand, see what we have to work with this uh, this particular scenario. Okay, summer detective goes away. Um, hard knocks would be okay. Leo's okay, but we have better allies at this point. Um, I'd rather get someone to help me investigate, so I'm going to ditch Leo, Overpower, um, Hard Knocks, if you want to actually fight anything, it's kind of necessary at this point, so we'll ditch these cards and then draw some, uh, three more. Alright, so we got someone to help us with investigating, which is good. Um, the 
those back in our deck, and then uh, let's get started. So we start in the Village Commons. We can resign if we're wimps. Um, so let's go ahead and... We can go ahead and get set up here. I'm going to play Professor Rice. Um, I'm going to play Hard Knocks. And I'm going to play Emergency Cash. So we're going to end up with... Um, put this in the wrong spot. We're going to end up with uh, three resources after all of, all of that. And that'll be our first turn. And let's go ahead and draw a card. And get our resources. And then we are playing with six um, Doom on the Threshold for now. And then uh, we'll see what happens when it goes over. First card, Rotting Remains Test. Uh, willpower 3 for each point you fail by. Take a horror. Uh, I will happily commit um, unexpected courage to that. And a zero means we take no horror, right? Okay, we need to uh, move and start doing uh, some actual objectives here. All right, so congregational church. Part of the uh, the gimmick or mechanic of this scenario is that we take the clues, and then if there are no clues um, on the location, we get to see what the encounter card is. So we're going to need to grab a clue. Um, it has a shroud of two. So we are plus two if we don't commit any resources. Um, I'd rather uh, commit resources to streetwise, so we're plus five. And the auto failed token, that's always good. Um, yeah, I will. I don't know, it might just be plus three, I don't want to run out of resources. Or plus, that would make me plus, um, yeah, plus three. Cultist, minus two, add a clue from the of your allocation. Okay, so we got that going, <clears throat> which is good. Um, Warren Rice lets us draw a card. After we clear off a location. Um, and then... As a fast action, we can draw the encounter card. I would rather have uh, my actions with me, so it's not something you have to do immediately. Um, let's go ahead and head to our upkeep phase where we draw a flashlight. That would be nice. Grab two resources. Uh, Lone Wolf is great, of course. I'll uh, keep that resource engine alive. And let's see what a uh, bad card we draw. Um, put in play in your threat area. You cannot play allies, and allies are blank. In your turn, test will power three. If you succeed, um, succeed, discard. All right, so that's kind of annoying. At least we don't have like Lola out or something. But still, um, it is annoying to lose that functionality. Let's go ahead and. Um, I will probably draw, drop um, Lone Wolf. Yeah, I'm going to play Lone Wolf first and then see what this clue is. So, that is the hidden chamber. So, it's in play. It's connected to the church. Um, I don't know how the clue's on there. Let's just get rid of it. Um, we can grab another connector token. But we can't enter it until we have the key, so that's a uh, pretty good luck on our part. Um, we just need uh, two more things, or one more thing. Let's move, and remember to drag that away first. Um, one shroud, one clue, but we have a force. Let me throw this uh, clue upon there. All right, we have to search for a night gaunt enemy and spawn it in the village commons. And night gaunts are called night gaunts, so I can just search for it. There we are, or haunting night gaunt. All right, so that guy is a hunter, and while evading, we double the negative modifier of each revealed chaos token. So even though he has an evade of one, it's pretty hard for us to evade him. 
Um, so that was our first, our second move. We played Lone Wolf. Um, I'm motivated to just I can investigate this at plus one, or plus uh, two rather. We could spend some resources as well. Could get the flashlight out and research it that way. Uh, maybe it would be good to get out some tools, so we'll play that instead. Pay our resources, and that'll be our turn. So Night Gaunt comes on here. We draw a card, and take two resources. Alright, going pretty well, especially getting the chamber. Um, you have like a two. You have a two out of five chance of getting something good, at least on that first draw. Okay, monster, retaliate, lose some resources. All right. Um, we don't have much to, to deal with that guy. Um, could attack him, but we don't have a weapon out, so we only do one damage at a time. So usually in that case, I'm motivated to evade him, especially since he doesn't have hunter. Um, we can kite everybody around here be okay. So let's go ahead and take Lone Wolf money first, and then we will evade him. We're at a three, um, we're at a six, we're plus four. All right, zero means he goes here. Um, he's exhausted. We will um, research, or investigate. Is our second action. All right, we got the clue. Um, I'm okay with uh, looking underneath here. Ancient evils <clears throat> out of doom. Um, that's not too bad. I think I forgot to test that. Oh well. Um, that's not horrible, I guess. Um, and then we'll just keep moving. And I don't know if that location needs to go there. Alright, so now we're at the schoolhouse. Which has a shroud of four. And we can only discover clues by investigating, so no tricks in this location. Um, that's our turn. The Night Gaunt will move. Mobster will um, not get flown over there. He'll go right there. And then we will draw a card, get resources. Actually, we'll test this first. Uh, I don't know if they have anything to help. I could commit Dynamite Blast, but I really don't want to. Okay, so we don't pass that. Fair enough. We can always use Rice as a meat shield. Um, so I'm going to draw a card, gain some resources. Alright, Machete. Better than nothing. Um, let's go ahead and add a Doom draw card. Kidnapped. Test willpower 4 or um, agility 4 if we fail. Add uh, Mr. Rice to the list of potential sacrifices. If you have no ally assets, we would have had to take 2 damage. Okay. So now we have to decide how much do we care. Um... Not a whole lot. Uh, we can use two resources to be up to. Um, we're going to need our resources to grab that clue, though. Although, at least we have a um, flashlight. Um, I guess we have a decent amount of resources. So, we'll be nice to Mr. Rice here. Okay, the rock is minus two, um, and we tied with that because we're six, so kidnap doesn't do anything. All right, that's our turn. Um, let's go ahead and use the flashlight. And two resources, I think. Uh, let's see, it's a shroud of two now. Um, I'll have investigate six, so it'll be plus four. And I need to remember to take. Lone Wolf Cash. Alright, so we got it. 
Um, I'm gonna play a machete. It's my second action. And we're gonna see what this card gives us. Psycho Pop Song. Add it to any investigator's threat area. And you would take one more damage, take two more damage, and discard Psycho Pop Song. The really bad thing here is that it has Surge. And we'll just get, throw that over there. Rotting remains. Test willpower three for each point failed by take four. Alright. Oof. All three. Okay. Um, let's see. Do you have anything bad for four? No. Just, I don't want to die. Um, I guess I'll keep Bryce around and take one horror myself. So that was fun. Uh, <laughs> let's move here. To the general store. And it has one clue. I can't gain resources while I'm here. So that's sort of annoying. And we need to clue there. I guess I had a clue I flung across the table I could have used, but that's okay. Um, enemy phase. Night Gaunt is just chasing it after us like a game of tag or something. Uh, let's go ahead and draw a card. First we need to check this guy out. Almost. Um, now we have an upkeep. Emergency catch. Uh, we can't gain resources. And we will roll over the agenda deck. So. Let's see what happens here. There are three more potential sacrifices. Choose one of them at random and put it underneath the agenda deck without looking at it. All right, we'll shuffle that up and let's go right here. Let's draw a card. A serpent of many mouths. Any empty location. I'm gonna put that in the village commons. Um. Actually, no, we can put it right here. <clears throat> it is not a hunter, which is really nice, so the spawn of any empty location usually puts him away from um, needing to deal with it. So it is our turn. Let's use flashlight. And we're plus three then. All right. So we get the clue, and we'll flip it over and see what we got. Hey, it's the key. So we immediately get the key, and we'll just put it over here. And now we need to get back to the chamber, or get to the chamber, which we can do that back. We can move twice, and then get to the church at the very least. So that's pretty good. We left one location open, so I don't know how well, how good that is luck-wise, but it's luck we got for this um, particular playthrough. Uh, we got to check unhallowed country. Unhallowed, yeah, country. And it's zero, which means we finally get rid of this. Rice does something. Um, Night Gaunt moves over here. And we get to uh, see an upkeep phase. Alright, unexpected courage. So we get a, there, a doom now. So we're at one. Uh, next agenda is six. <laughs> Unhallowed country. Alright. So we just got rid of that, I thought. That's that's how this game goes. All right, so got three resources: uh, lone wolf cash. I'm gonna play um, let's see. Night Gaunt is right there. He has four HP, so I can't just solve my problem with a dynamite blast. Um. 
let's go ahead and play emergency cash to get the six, then move in. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that plan. All right, and then we're going to move here. Since we have the key, that advances the act deck. We only have two acts, so it's a pretty uh, straightforward scenario, sort of, act-wise, I guess. I guess this isn't super straightforward, but we have to reveal each unrevealed location. So that's here. Um, no. My um, computer's getting a little bit laggy. Sorry about that. Um, and then move all clues in play, including those on each investigator to the hidden chamber. That is four. And then we have to um, spawn the set aside silence and bishop enemy in the hidden chamber. And you know he's going to be a fun time. Um, three attack, or three fight, uh, six um, health per investigator, so in this case it's six. Uh, evade score of seven. He is massive, he is elite. He cannot make attacks of opportunity, so that's good to pay attention to. But he is right here, not in the uh, other players. There we go. So yeah, we have a choice. We can either grab all of these clues, or we can kill Silas Bishop. Um, I have Dynamite Blast and Machete at my disposal. So I think we're going to go for the fighting path more than the clue gathering path. If we had Lola um, and maybe a flashlight with charges on it or a lockpick, maybe we could consider the other um, path. But I think we're going to fight him for this uh, particular scenario. He does two and two. Um, <clears throat> We've got a meat shield, and we're pretty healthy, so I'm probably just going to stay in the chamber with him and use my last action on Machete. Um, we have... Although we do have Psycho Pomp Song, so this is going to hurt, but... I think it's better to stay in here than let the Night Gaunt go on us, so... Um, fighting with Machete gives us a fight score of 4 against 3. We will be plus three, and I'll be plus four by spending a resource. I think I had six. I'll spend a resource. Um, this thing is a little sensitive. So I'm plus four. Auto fail. That eh, makes sense. He doesn't have retaliate, at least. And that's our turn. We're going to take... Um, two and two from him, so um, Rice can take two and one, so we take a horror from that, but uh, Psychopomp is going to uh, give us two damage. And Rice can go away now. Gotta love the uh, auto fail. Uh, we have on Hollowed Country. Too. It's uh, bad that you have to make that test because we have bad tokens. Uh, I don't think any of the bad tokens matter anymore. Oh, the squid gives you a doom, so yeah, that matters. Um, I move the night gaunt right here and draw a card, gain two resources. Alright, 45s. Not bad, but we kind of don't have time to use them. Let's grab a doom. We'll grab an encounter card. A thug. <clears throat> and we can't gain resources, which is um, not great. So I think... <clears throat> Sorry about that. I think we're going to uh, do some drastic measures here. 
I'm gonna um, throw dynamite on our location, so that obliterates the thug. That's gonna add three damage to our uh, friend here. Might as well just put him in front of me, so you guys can see him better. Um, we'll just do what we do in real life. Put that over to a three. So we've got three um, HP left on this guy. Sometimes you flip things over that you don't want to flip over. Um, well, let's fight again. The machete. We're plus one, plus three. Uh, I can be plus four again. And it's minus one for each location and play with no counter card. So that's four. So we do win that one. That's why you want to get to minus four. Uh, and then we just need to hit him one more time and we've got this in the bag. So we're going to need to spend all of our resources and flip this over. Um, what does that make us? Machete it makes us a four, five, six. So we're plus three, I'm going to give up the 45s to be plus four. All right. That was basically going to happen as long as we didn't draw a tentacle. So, yeah, Silas is dead. Let's uh, go ahead and see what happens. The Necronomicon is in... Oh, wait, we didn't do this. Sorry. R1. We don't look at the act deck. So, let's go ahead and go to R1. All right, as you land the finishing blow, the creature's body explodes into hundreds of squirming rope-like appendages. Wriggling across the ground and climbing up the walls, you're so startled that you aren't fast enough to prevent them from escaping the room. Even so, whatever that creature was, you're glad it's not dead. So, we put Silas Bishop out of his misery. Um, under Sacrifice to Yog Sapa, record the names of each unique card that is underneath the agenda deck. So, let's see who was uh, sacrificed. Uh, Zebulon Waitley. Would have been nice for the willpower, I suppose. So, these guys aren't. Each of those cards are removed from all players' decks and no longer be included in for the rest of the campaign. If you have the Necronomicon in your campaign log, it would be stolen. So we don't have we burnt the Necronomicon. And then each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card. Each investigator earns two bonus experience as she or he gains insight. All right, so I know Silas gives us two. Do we get any for these? I kind of doubt we do. Yeah, that's it. So two plus the two that the campaign gave us um, will put us at four, which is nice. And then we will proceed to interlude two, the survivors. Might as well uh, read this now. Inside the chamber that contained the terrible beast, you find the missing townsfolk and others from Arkham. They are bound and shackled. You also find several documents that suggest the creature you found isn't the only one of its kind killed in Dunwich. You free the creature's victims from their bonds, and they offer you their thanks. You forget, begin to plan your next move. For each of the following five characters who are not listed, under Sacrifice to Hyog Sapa. Read their associated passage. So, again, um, I think I'm going to let you guys read that if you want to. Um, and then we are allowed to take the Powder of Ibn Ghazi. Uh, that's also in here. 
and that will be important in the next scenario. Um, let's see you, it puts X clues on it. X is the number of characters who survived the Dunwich legacy. So we need to know that. Um, so that was just who, uh, who died there. Um, Zebulon, okay. So we gotta write that down. I think that's how you spell that. Might be, might be that. Okay, so we get the powder of Ibn, Z or Ibn Ghazi. Um, and then you can choose to add the um, the survivors to your deck in the form of allies. Uh, let's go over them one by one. Um, Armitage here. After you draw a card, you can discard it to gain three resources, which is pretty good for Jenny. Uh, where's the rest of you guys? We already have uh, Rice. He helps you investigate. Uh, Morgan there helps you fight. And Earl gives you um, Evade. So we can take all of these people. Uh, we already have Rice. But we can take all of these people if we want to. And I'm going to remember that four people or four charges on the powder. Because that will be very important in the next uh, scenario, which is undimensioned and unseen. So I hope you guys see, uh, see you guys there next episode. Otherwise, um, I'm Big Stupid Grin. Hope you enjoyed your time here. Until next time, have a good one.